Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back. It's your boy Skylar, and today we got rapper scam streamer for millions. All right, and that streamer happens to be Aiden Ross. All right, bro, like tighten up, bro. I don't know what you got going on, but this not it. I right? you're gonna go broke. All right, let's get it. Oh, by the way, before we start, this is my Instagram. Please follow me on there. I be on it every day, posting some, you know, some cool shit. I be smoking a lot, so yeah, follow me on there. And yeah, let's get it. So the last 48 hours have been anything but fun for Aiden Ross, as it appears he has been scammed for possibly millions of dollars at the hands of two rappers being 21 Savage and Playboy Cardi. And this Damn. all went down in front of hundreds of thousands of people on his live stream. I mean, to be fair though, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair. Dollars at the hands of two rappers being 21 Savage. He looked like a scammer. And Playboy. And he for sure looked like a scammer. So. <laughs> Cardi. And this all went down in front of hundreds of thousands of people on his live stream. So first we have the situation with 21 Savage where they were playing a game of cards. And 21 apparently had one of his quote unquote goons switch out the deck with some marked cards. Nah, he's not going to scam me. Trust. I know how to play that shit. Yeah. Nah. We have like a table where we could sit like this. Yeah, yeah. a little circle. Like a little circle of table. Yeah. And then he hands it off, right? So he hands this alleged Damn. goon the cards, the guy switches them out, and this all ends up being one of the most awkward moments in streaming history, as one of the people on Aiden's team catches on to what 21 and his friends are doing, and they call him out on it right then and there. It's like, it's like, okay, right? This, there's no need for you, right? If for people that's not familiar with this game, there's no need for you to be looking this hard at the back of the cards. All of the cards is identical. Nothing is different unless, unless you marked it. So he marked all the high face cards, a small mark that only he would notice. But I guess the chat was like, why is he looking so hard? It got to be marked. So it's just like, why would he even try it on stream? And you have over 100,000 people watching. Like, and then it's such an awkward moment, bro. Catches on to what 21. I was just cringing just watching this shit live. I'm like, no way. One and his friends are doing, and they call him out on it right then and there. I can't lose. Cool. Say dada. Say dada. Dada. <laughs> <laughs> So y'all notice 21 even tells him, I can't lose. I can't lose. And it's like, of course Damn. you know you're not gonna lose. You're playing with basically a hidden card up your sleeve. This is where they discovered the marked cards. I don't think you would do that, bro. Yeah. Right there's a little scratch. No way. They're marked, bro. Back onto what? These are marked. Look. Man, get the fuck out of here. Am I tripping? Yes. I know you wouldn't do that shit to me, but. You tripping. So 21 Savage essentially decides to play dumb. He acts like he doesn't know what's going on. And he essentially Damn, has bro. the same vibe as someone who would steal something from you and then later on help you look for it. Like this this should be like a life lesson for a lot of people, bro. You need to start watching the people that's are in your inner circle. All right, you need to start looking at the people in your inner circle cuz there's a lot of people in your inner circle that's exactly like this, bro. Exactly like this. That's why for me, my circles get smaller and smaller, and I enjoy it every single time. I just like, all right, cool, show me a bat. All right, cool, cool. No arguing, just cut off. No arguing, just cut off. And that's just how you just keep a peaceful life, bro. We just cut off the loose ends and the BS and peace. That's it. I'm, t I'm telling you. Like, dude, the whole world just caught you cheating in a $250,000 wager card game. I mean, I'm sure people have gotten their lives taken in similar situations for much less. Either way, Aiden essentially nice. gave 21 Savage the benefit of the doubt in this situation, saying, nah, my friend wouldn't try and scam me like that, even with it being so obvious. And to make the whole situation even funnier, the next day, 21 Savage comes out with some metal dice and some metal playing cards. And in light of- No cap, if I was- if I- me personally, if I was Aiden Ross, I would have to at least get 20% of what, whatever this is sold. Cause I'm not going to be used as a crash dummy for your success. Hell no, bro. I'd have been like 21. I'm sorry, bro. You could try to be cool with me all you want. 
take me to ATL, the tour. I, that's all cool and whatnot, but I'm going to have to get me my ends, bro. Like, my peas is my peas. You feel me? That's how it is. Like, you can't, no. Nah. Of this situation, those items completely sold out. You just know these are coming to a StockX near you, but only for 10 times the price. And so that was one instance of Aiden getting scammed for $250,000. But now this next scamming might somehow be worse, with him potentially losing millions of dollars in one night, and he wasn't even gambling. So yesterday, Aiden kept teasing that he was going to have his biggest stream yet. He said it was going to be the best guest he's ever had, so people were immediately thinking, is it going to be Drake? Is it going to be Donald Trump? Is it going to be Elon Musk? Damn, there were big. essentially all kinds of names on the table before it actually came out that he would be sitting down with apparently Playboy Cardi. Which, to me, it's like on the totem pole of people I actually care about, Playboy Cardi is relatively low. But still, he obviously has a cult-like fan base, and I think Aiden was obviously excited to have him on his stream. I'm sorry, but I'm off. I look like a big-ass mosquito, bro. This man does look like a flea. Like, once someone talk about the flea, this is why I imagine a flea would look like on our microscope or something. Because, yeah, this shit. Green. Like what? So excited that he apparently promised him $2 million in cash for this appearance, which I'm calling cap on. And Aiden apparently... Aiden, Aiden, Aiden. Bro, I will perform for you on stream for half that. And a Lambo. Maybe not even a Lambo. A Corvette. You feel me? Have that on a Corvette and I'll perform for you. Way more than that Cardi ever did. You got me, I got you. Hit my line. You know my Instagram. Currently also told Playboy Cardi that he could use his private jet, and on top of that, he would also be buying him a Ferrari. And yeah. after hours of fans anxiously waiting for Playboy Cardi to actually come onto his stream, Cardi actually ends up popping up. I guess one of the stipulations was that the room had to be as dark as possible. And this man only showed up for six whole minutes, where he basically uttered around 20 words total, was completely unresponsive when Aiden... <laughs> the fact that counting the words is... Bro, but 20 words in six, and yeah. Asked him questions, and overall just made himself look really stupid. Cardi is here. Yo, chat. Finally about time. It's that time, chat. Oh. His face. So the whole thing starts out <laughs> a little bit awkward. As I'm sure a lot of you know, Cardi's on that Satanist shit, and he apparently popped into this room with several devil worshippers, giving off a very strange vibe. Oh, that's what's going on? What the hell? To be honest, though, I'm not gonna lie, I did not like the vibe I was getting from this stream. Uh, especially that, that girl with the shades. He Y'all want to react to some shit? Like I called. <laughs> um, so how was the Grammys? And so his response is basically crickets. The whole situation is awkward to say the least. And it's just a complete 180 from what this guy is used to when he brings rappers onto the stream. Where they're usually trying to promote themselves, they're trying to promote their music or whatever yeah, else they like, got going on. And usually they have shit. a whole lot of fun and they definitely understand the assignment when it comes to trying to keep the chat entertained. For Cardi, it was like he was trying to remain dark and mysterious and he just came off looking like a prick. <laughs> How you doing, bro? You alright? Nice to officially meet you. Um, okay. Chat. Cardi in the fucking building right now. We got 500,000 people watching. They're waiting here for two hours. This is the camera right here. Right here. Mm. They're waiting for you for two hours, bro. They just, they love you so much, bro. And they're, you know, they feel mm. amazing you're here now. I love you. So not only did he make him wait two or three hours from the time he was actually supposed to show up, but yeah. Aiden apparently took a private jet away from a family emergency just to be in this situation that ended up being a total dud, okay? It's like you're trying to light the firework and it's just not happening. Above that, this dude came in with a uh, full latex outfit on, including this very mask. strange hockey mask looking thing. And he essentially looks like he is ready to be dominated. It's your first time doing this <laughs> shit, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got you, bro. I got you. Actually, matter of fact, I got you, bro. 
shit out, bro. I got some cash for you. Mm. Yeah, a little mm. gift for me to you. Mm -hmm. So he brings out the duffel bag of cash. You can see Cardi light up, or I guess maybe if I really brighten my screen, I can. He starts giggling, he starts laughing. Apparently there's a million large in that duffel bag. You know, it's a good amount of money in here. You know, it's, it's a lot amount of money in here. I got you, bro. Um, from me to you. Mm. Yeah, I got you, bro. Mm -hmm. Oh, you do hugs. <laughs> oh shit, okay. <laughs> I mean, the f can't even utter a thank you out of his mouth. There's more it's money in this bag. Bro, like rappers need to stop being like this mysterious type, not want to talk, not want to interact with people. Like, bro, people literally paying you, giving you money that they work hard for and all that shit. And you can't even interact with people. You're you're so above and so on your high horse that you can't even look people in their eye and have a normal conversation. You can't, you mean to tell me you feel so big that you can't even look Aiden Ross in his eyes and can't have a normal conversation, bro? That's how big you feel? Like, and I blame the fans too, because these fans be worshipping these, like, these celebrities, like, as if they're gods and shit. Like, bro, like, y'all need to wake up, bro. Like, y'all making these people feel way too, like, ahead of themselves. They feel unstoppable. They feel like, you know? It's 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 to a point where it's I just I'm I'm happy this happened because people actually start w waking up and actually like realizing like this is bullshit really, you feel me, and and yeah it just like cause if you check on Cardi Instagram and like his social media you see a bunch of people spamming him with L's this and that this and that like you know like sh that shit is yeah bag than a lot of people will probably see in their lifetime. You want to take a seat? Huh? He's got some weird white chick in the background counting Her, it in the dark. Yeah. Stand over here. Okay. He then asks him to stand up. How tall are you? I'm like 5'9". Asks him his height. How tall are you? 6'2". Really? And the whole thing is just incredibly uncomfortable. I like the mask, but <laughs> would you like, what kind of mask is that? Get the... Oh, the shoes too. And no one can see because it's pitch black, which was his request. Like, yes, dude, we get it. You're trying to be that weird goth motherfucker in the back of class, drawing anime pictures yeah. and muttering to yourself all day. So wait, what's the deal with the mask? That's just something you've been rocking with? That, uh, mm, it was actually a good from me. Oh, really? Yes. Nice. I like it, bro. It's nice. Um, all right, well, chat, look, if you guys got questions for No lie, that gift from Ye line is probably the clearest thing he said the entire stream. Yourself <laughs> all day. So wait, what's the deal with the mask? That's just something you've been rocking with, Illy? Mm. It was actually a gift from Ye. Oh, really? Yes. Nice. I like it, bro. It's nice. Literally the clearest thing he um, said. All right, well, chat. Look, if you guys got questions for for him, we don't got him for too long. You let me know. I really do appreciate you coming though, for real, for real. I know you don't ever do shit like this, and it means a lot to me. That you're here. Thank you. Um, you working on the album, ass, right? Love you, love you. Aggressive you. ass fucking clapping. Thank you, Aiden Ross, too, for the hospitality. Uh, so yeah, he basically came in, acted awkward as. Ignored any question he had, didn't talk about any new music he's coming out with, didn't want to talk about the Grammys he had literally just performed at with Travis Scott. And overall, yeah. he just came off as borderline acoustic. You playing games and shit? Video games? No. Oh, man. Uh, how was your day today? What'd you do? <laughs> you see, now, they played Aiden like a fuck. You see that whole laugh? Like how he turned and all like he addressed his buddies, his like whatever worship friends, whatever, like how how they all like giggled and whatnot, like just like like nah bro. If I was Aiden Ross, I'd have been like, nah bro, like you're not gonna play me in front of all these people on my stream. Like that's not gonna fly. <laughs> not on my stream. Hell yeah, no. Yeah. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Back to the studio. 2024 music. You leave right now? Yeah. All right, hold on, let me mute real quick. And so that was pretty much the extent. 
<laughs> he saw Hardy slap the mute button, bro. You know Aiden pissed as hell. It's like you trying to leave right now. Wait, let me mute real quick. Boom. <laughs> the Playboy Cardi's time on Aiden's stream. Obviously, a lot of people were extremely disappointed by this appearance, including Aiden himself, who shelled out potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars for six minutes of action. And after this, Crazy. Playboy Cardi apparently even had the audacity to ask, hey, where's the rest of my money? And also, what about that private jet you promised me? Wait, can I ask, wait, what's going on? Because why are we still here? But it's my plan. It, it was part of the deal. What is she, what, what is it about? Is it about the jet? <laughs> They're not getting it. Another half the money. They're not getting it. Obviously, people collaborating on content is typically a mutually beneficial thing, but it is pretty funny to see someone like this having to <laughs> promise cars and jet rides and millions of dollars. All to Bro, imagine getting gifted, right? Two million dollars, a Ferrari, and a private jet to and from the location. Just, just to have a little bit of interview slash fun and a stream for an hour and a half. You can't even do that, bro. And this person gifting you basically everything. Like, bro, come on. Like, <laughs> hope to get a rapper onto their stream. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry to all you Cardi fans, bro. I'm really, really sorry. for. I tried, bro. I'm really about to just start doing content with motherfuckers that I have a relationship with off camera. Guys, I'm sorry to anyone that's like... And agreed to it. No, bro. He agreed to a whole hour of talking about music, his album music, and talking to his fans and TTS and all these things. And he didn't want to do it. So guess what? I'm not keeping my bargain deal. So obviously he was pissed off. Thanks. And then he takes this even further to basically say this dark, introverted, weird persona that Cardi puts on is both corny and cringy. I'm not going for that anymore as well. I don't care who you are. I don't care how famous you are. I don't care about any of that shit, bro. I'm not, that persona shit is corny as cringe. Talk so your yeah, shit, it was Aiden. pretty clear that he was not fucking with Cardi. Feeling defeated in this situation, he even tweeted out, I'm sorry guys, I tried. I mean, he was really hyping up this stream. Now, there's a lot of people that have been speculating that both these situations with 21 Savage and Playboy Cardi were nothing more than a sham. And maybe I could see... So, I'm glad he mentioned that because I was at work and I was thinking, I'm like, wait a minute. What if this whole two situation were just... Uh publicity stunt right hear me out we, bro we've been talking about this everyone all over social media for the past like what three three four days now since the first incident it and ross everything going viral everything clips everywhere like no everyone gonna be paying attention to his streams and shit more often now so it's kind of like hmm interesting the 21 savage thing with him already kind of seeming to have those cards ready to sell but when it comes to the Playboy Cardi situation, I think he was really just kind of a weird motherfucker. And I do think Aiden might have seriously felt let down. Now, I don't know how much money he gave him, but anything more than one penny would not have been worth that shit. Facts. Either way, y'all know it's been your boy, Tan Superman, and some other streamer news out here needs to be covered. So I'm out. Peace. Yo, that is it for this video. Hey, let me take... Let me know what you think in the comments. Also, leave a like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you for the next one. All right, peace.